<laughs> All right. Hey, everybody. This is uh, David Bradley. I'm a sales and marketing manager with Grant Cardone. I'm here with my buddy, Tim Clark. Uh, we're going to be talking about goals, dreams, and the most important piece of that puzzle, which is staying accountable to those things. And so um, if you're watching live, uh, this is part of my Facebook page, 10X Goals and Accountability. And, and so like for me, one of my challenges has always been, you know, I've got goals, I got dreams. I'm in charge of keeping myself accountable for that. Nobody else, right? But there's a lot of other folks out there that are in the same boat that have struggles and challenges and just, man, how do we stay motivated, right? How do we stay on purpose? So the, the idea behind the page is really to give you guys a, a place to come where we can help you stay accountable without feeling like, judgment or it, it's just about staying connected to your goals and your dreams and that you're going the extra mile that you're pushing and you're in, and, and, but then you also have this great support group where you've got a place to just have accountability in play that helps you get to the next level versus uh, does not. Right. So, um, you know, because I think there's a lot of people and I think Tim, you probably agree with me on this is that there's a lot of people out there that when you start getting out of your comfort zone, when you start trying to push for something bigger, create something more, there's, 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 there's people that will try and keep you from that. Right. And, 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 you know, we don't need to get into the psychology of why that is, <laughs> but you know, it's there and it's real. And so, um, like I said, I want this group to be a place to where we help people, we encourage, we inspire, um, and we give people ammunition to keep pushing towards their goals and their dreams. And so in this conversation, and hopefully we can have more like this with other folks, is about you know who Tim is, what he does, um, where he's at in terms of creating his goals and his dreams, what his why is, um, and then how he's keeping himself accountable, and then how we can help support him as well. And so uh, without further ado, let me just introduce uh, Tim Clark, and, and, and you can just do the first question, man, which is, Man, who, who are, who's Tim Clark? Awesome, David. I appreciate you having me on here. Hey, man, yeah. I really appreciate you doing the uh, 10X Goals and Accountability group on Facebook. As soon as I saw that, I knew I wanted to contact you. I wanted to know who you are, and I wanted you to know who I am. So let me introduce myself. My name is Tim Clark. I'm the owner and CEO of Nikos Computer Engineering. Uh, right out of grad school, I worked at a few different engineering firms around the state of Florida. Uh, made contacts, learned how the consulting industry worked. And then in 2010, I quit my corporate job and started my own business called Nico's Computer Engineering. Nice. What, what was the corporate job? Just curious. I was doing engineering consulting. So I would work for large engineering firms that would do environmental engineering, uh, construction. And then they also had a department doing computer engineering. And I worked as a software developer. Okay. So now you've branched out on your own, and, and what, what what are we doing at Nikos? Sure. So mostly what we do is develop custom software for small businesses using Amazon Web Services. So okay. typically our, our target, target audience is a, a business that's already successful. They have a niche business, and they're looking for software to support their operations. But because they are a niche business, there's no software available to solve that problem. So We'll come in, understand their business, understand their uh, their sales process, their business profit process, and then build software just for that business. Okay. So for the kids watching at home and myself included, um, you know, if, how would you isolate or identify like your dream client? What do they look like? So as we're out and about, if we run into somebody um, and they say, you know, the following, we'd be like, okay, you need to go talk to my guy, Tim. Yeah, absolutely. That's a great question. So yes. my, my ideal client would be a small business, probably 50 to 500 uh, employees and okay. already profitable. They're already in business. Um, they have positive cash flow. They have a proven product or service. And okay. now they're looking to scale. They're looking to grow. Uh, but they've been limited because there's so much overhead in their business with their information, with their communication. With analyzing information that they can't grow unless they get that right software to support them. Got it. Got it. Okay. And so, and then, and we had emailed a little bit back and forth and you had mentioned you had like seven different ways that you solve problems uh, for businesses. And so let's, um, what are those? 
Yeah, let me buzz through that list. This is seven ways that our company, Nikos, can save your business time and money. Uh, first, we can automate manual processes that you run every day. Okay. We can create custom real-time reports to show how your operations are doing. We can develop a self-service uh, website for your customers where your customers can log in, find their information, they can order more products, they can uh, perform customer service on their own. We can also do consultations. So if you're looking to invest in a, in a large software purchase or license, we can come in as a consultant and make sure that you're spending your money on the right software. Yeah. We can also integrate separate systems. So if you already have a CRM, you have uh, web leads coming in, you have an internal database of customers, we can integrate all those so that they work together so you're not duplicating information or having to retype information. We can also look at the, uh, all the business data that you have about your sales, about your operations, yeah. and analyze that. So we call that data mining. But we'll go in and look for trends and patterns uh, that may reveal some interesting facets of your business that you may not be aware of. That's cool. Good deal. And the last part is uh, reducing risk. So in today's age with healthcare, with finance, uh, with personal uh, credit card information, we can come in as consultants and reduce the risk by identifying problems or potential problems before they become uh, real big problems and headaches for your company. Yeah, man, that's awesome. So obviously one of the ways that we connected was, you know, the, the, I started the page, you know, 10X, right? So that implies Grant Cardone. Uh, I've been with Grant since March of 2011, and I first heard about Grant in 2003. Um, took my sales from just barely surviving to thriving in the industry I was in. Um, how did you hear about Grant and how has he helped? Absolutely. Um, yeah, I'm so glad that we have that in common, that we're big big fans and followers of Grant Cardone. I was introduced to Grant Cardone by Peter Vug in February of 2015. Uh, at that time, I had been in business for about five years. So um, by just the statistics, that's still a successful business to be alive for five years. But I had been stuck in a plateau where, you know, I have a technical background as an engineer, but since I didn't have the skills to sell and to close and to prospect, I'd hit a plateau and uh, I wasn't able to gather enough opportunities to really grow past of that. Right, Dude, man. I, and I think there's a lot of folks out there that have that challenge where like you've got a good product, you have a good service, you have this great idea and it works, right? Um, but then you get to this place to where, you know, like here was my, one of my biggest challenges when I first got into sales was that I thought that, cause I'd been in the food service industry and I was a waiter and a bartender. And so like, you know, I've got a good sense of humor. I can connect with people. I can crack some jokes. I can make people smile. And so I just thought, hey man, if I do that when I'm selling, they should just, when I'm done, at some point they should be like, I'll take it. Right. And that like hardly ever happens. <laughs> so I was like, dude, how come nobody like, and then I thought there was a problem with me. You know, I didn't realize that people are going to have some natural resistances that people are going to have some fear about making a mistake and all that stuff. And what they need at this point is someone to help them into this next place of making a decision, which might require you to ask for the business. And so um, huge lesson that I was able to learn from Grant which had this massive impact on my ability to sell, knowing that, hey, there's a process that I can follow and I need to get to this place where I'm probably gonna have to close, right? And everyone sort of is afraid of the whole close concept. And so um, being able to recognize that that's an opportunity for growth for you and to realize that, you know, if you've got 100 people interested in your product, maybe one to 3% are gonna be like, okay, give me the product. Right. But that's not, that's not gonna be, um, sustainable to a business. So at some point you're gonna to need to learn how to sell and close to get the decision and to move them into a client because that's the other thing Grant talks about is that until you're using my product or service, ultimately I haven't really done squat for you. Right, I totally agree with you and I feel the same way about, you know, even you bartending, me doing engineering, it's the same problem, right? We gotta persuade people about the value of what we offer and then bring them to a point of decision where we can decide to do business together. Um, for me, over these past two years, uh, with Grant's help, you know, I was reading all his books, 
uh, listening to his audio. You know, I love when Grant narrates his own books. He gets so excited. He yeah. ad libs, adds value on those uh, the MP3s and the audibles. Um, Man, I think any audio book that's not read by the author, like it devalues the the the, the quality of, of the material. Absolutely. You know, um, about six months ago, I made a big investment and I joined up with Cardone University. Yeah, so, so you're, you're ahead of me. But yeah, let's go. <laughs> I can jump in there. Um, I can jump in there each morning, watch some training videos. You know, like I said, my education, my background is engineering, and I'm spending my mornings watching sales training. So you may think that's you know that that sounds kind of crazy, but they really do go hand in hand about. Not only am I selling the sale, but I'm selling other people on my ideas. Uh, I'm selling, um, you know, uh, other vendors on how they can help me, how we can do business together, doing business partnerships and so on. So uh, I also went to the, the 10X Growth Con last year in Miami, and that was absolutely amazing. Uh, absolutely recommend anybody get out to Las Vegas uh, this February and make that conference. I made so many contacts there and just being able to, to meet Grant in person and be around those other speakers was uh, totally inspirational. Dude, that's awesome. And congratulations on that. Good for you for making the investment in yourself. Um, if you're in somebody who, or you know, if you could talk to the people that uh, are in a field that may not consider themselves uh, in sales, right? What right. advice would you give them you know, if it maybe one of us from, from Grant's office called up and said, hey, I, I want to show you Cardone University, and they're like, hey, that's not for me, and they hang up, and then you run into them, like, what would you advise them, or what would you say to somebody who doesn't think they're in sales? Sure, that's a great question, Dan. Um, what I would say is, you know, you know, I went to school for 17 years, right, to learn how to, to be a contributing citizen to society, to learn a technical skill, how to um, you know, be responsible. And yeah. in those 17 years, no one told me, no one taught me how to make a sale, right? How to persuade another person that I can help them, that uh, we can do an exchange. And so that's really what's missing in our educational system. So Grant's really filled a good void there with Cardone University. Um, it definitely is an investment, right? So you got to do that exchange with him as well, right? You got to give over some of your, some of your money. But uh, the value you're, you're going to get is absolutely amazing. It's going to uh, teach you about the philosophy of sales, how that works, um, how to do a greeting, how to show value, how to uh, handle objections, all those things. And not only will that serve you in your professional life, but I find it works with my wife. It works with my kids. It works when I'm, you know, I'm out in the marketplace buying things, you know, how to negotiate um, all around your whole life is going to be absolutely benefited from, uh, from that investment. That's fantastic, man. So the, the, the purpose of the, of the page and the group is obviously to support people with, with their goals and their dreams and help everyone keep each other and themselves accountable to those things. So what are some of your big, fat, juicy dreams and goals, and, and where are you at in that path? Hey, man, I appreciate you asking me that and even keeping me accountable <laughs> during our video here. Um, you know, I, I definitely follow uh, Grant's recommendation every morning, every evening, writing down those big goals. Uh, so I did that this morning. I'll share a few of them with you if that's all right. Yeah, man. Before you do that, though, let me just ask you, how are you, would you consider yourself in the habit of writing your goals and dreams down at every day and at night? And then how long did it take you to establish that? Sure. I've, it's, a, it's a work in progress, I'll admit, but uh, I've been working at it for about a year. And okay. I use my 10x planner. It's got a spot right there for my morning goals. I write down six or seven of them. Um, you know, some days, just to be honest, you know, uh, I get a little stumped. So I look back, you know, whatever what was I thinking about yesterday? What was important to me yesterday? Just to yeah. jump those juices flowing uh, and that inspiration. So, um, but, you know, they change over time as well. You know, the goals I was writing a year ago are, are different than what I'm writing today. Heck yeah. And that's really important. So for those, you know, for the kids watching at home, um, hear what, what Tim just said is that, you know, some, like some days you're writing it down and you get stumped, like it's early in the morning, right? Your brain is not fully woken up yet. Right. Um, I'm 44 and I exercise hard, so I don't walk down my stairs. I like limp down my stairs until like my body 
has warmed up a little bit. The blood has flown. I've gone to the bathroom, right? So that's flowed. <laughs> and then like, and then I get, and I haven't even had a cup of coffee yet. And I'm trying to like dream big. Right. right? So it totally makes sense that you're going to want to maybe look back at yesterday or the day before and just snag, you know, it's like a prompt, right? I mean, hell, the in the United States use a teleprompter. Why wouldn't I prompt myself every morning with my goals and my dreams? So I just think, so for those of you watching at home, if that is you, uh, the good news is there's two guys right here validating that that's okay. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So what are they? Let's give me some juicy ones. What do we got? Okay. So um, some of my professional goals, you know, I, I'm, even though I'm doing sales, I'm still a technical person and I need my product and service to be high quality. So like I said, we, we utilize Amazon Web Services, and uh, I currently have three thir certifications with AWS, but one of my goals is to be one of the first 50 people in the world to earn all eight AWS certifications. So right now, they just came out with three more to make eight. I don't think there's anybody in the world that has all eight, but I'm going to be one of the first ones to get it. So you said there nobody right now has it? No, they just came out with, uh, there was five, and they added three more. Um, so right now there's not anybody. They just came out. So I'm studying hard in addition to doing, doing Cardinal University. I'm doing technical training to keep my skills sharp. And, uh, you know, I'll be testing on those to try to get all eight, be one of the first 50 people in the world to have all eight. So how, so how, how deep or complicated or technical is that? I mean, is, is it's extremely technical and complicated, right? So um, Amazon Web Services is essentially the same IT infrastructure that IT that uh, Amazon.com runs on. And they have these leftover resources, servers, networks, and they allow developers like me to move businesses into that as a private cloud so that they can use the same IT resources that Amazon.com uses. I was just messing around with that, trying to do an SMTP, which I, I don't even know what it stands for. That's that's my level of, of awareness uh, and, and trying to get that set up. And I'm starting to try and understand click funnels and using that. And um, yeah, I wouldn't. It, it's it's uh, it's challenging for me because I grew up, you know, I'm more of an artsy fartsy kind of a guy. And so to try and get into that technical stuff, I mean, that was just. <laughs> Hey, David, let, let me help you with that, all right? That's something I can definitely help you with. And, and you can uh, – you do what you do best, I'll do what I do best, and then we'll both yeah, learn. Right. Yeah. it's. Uh, I always like to learn that kind of stuff, though, like in the middle of it. Like it frustrates the crap out of me, but once I have this understanding of it, I feel I feel better about it. So um, what are some of your – so that's an awesome goal, man, to be like one of the first people in the world to have all eight of those things. I mean, that's uh, – what, what else you got? Yeah, so from a business perspective, obviously we want to increase revenue. So I have a goal that I'm producing $2 million a year in revenue. Um, so like you, you asked me, you know, how far along am I? You know, so I'm about, you know, 20, 30% of the way there. Um, so I still have some room to grow and I, I hope to achieve that in the next few years. Awesome. And one of the things, just to throw a, a small card on you plug in here, and anytime I'm talking to somebody that uses that program and you know sort of where you are and you know where you want to be, and those are two very, very important pieces of that puzzle. The, a great question to ask yourself when you log into card on you is what do I not know about getting there? Yeah. Right. And, and then you can, and, and that it just in itself stimulates like, what should I be watching today? about plugging that gap or closing the gap between what I've identified as my existing potential versus my current level of reality. So that's cool. Um, do you have any like familial or personal goals about, so, you know, you, you've reached this new level of education, your business is blowing up, you're making more money, but then, you know, cause really what's the purpose? Like, what are we doing with the money? Sure. That's a great question. I appreciate you asking me that. Yeah. Uh, Obviously, I want to be a great husband, a great father to my three kids. Uh, I want to be in the best physical shape of my life. And then I want to give back as well, right? That's a big reason why I want to be successful is to be able to help other people. Um, I have a goal along with my church to, to build a, a school in Rotan, Honduras, to provide a Christian education for all the local children there. 
Um, yeah. So that's, kind of, you know, my, my way of giving back as well as I reach this level of success. So like that has to be like, I don't know. Like when I think about like what, where, where like I, I spend my, my goals and my dreams and, and where I want my success to go to. Yeah. Like if, if you're, you know, there's uh, Wayne Dyer said, you know, anytime you're, you're out of purpose or you don't know what your purpose is, you can always default to a man's true purpose will always be found in the service of others. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so, and, and that's been something I've carried with me for years. And so when Grant, and if you've read the millionaire booklet, I, like in the preface there where he talks about going to being at a fundraiser for a church, like his reason for writing that book was being at a fundraiser for the church, they're out of money. Um, and then they were almost at their goal. And then one dude stands up and is able to like close that gap or fill in what they, what they didn't have left. And everybody that was in that meeting was like, or the fundraiser was like, I want to be that guy. And, yeah. and so the more you think about it, it's like, man, you know, Bill Gates, I mean, how many billions of dollars has that dude given to charity, right? But he couldn't have done that unless he was a killer. So Absolutely. it's like when you talk about money being the root of all evil and that all rich people are, are, are bad or, you know, it, to me, that doesn't make any sense because look at all, like, if the more you have, the more you can give. Absolutely. Yeah. So as far as, you know, you staying, like you keeping yourself, Tim, accountable for moving towards these things. So one thing, you've got the habit of writing them down every single day. Um, what else are you doing to just stay on top of that? Sure. So, you know, I believe that accountability goes hand in hand with integrity. And to me, integrity means that you, you do what you say you're going to do. Right. So first, I need to have integrity with myself. Right. So these are the these are the goals that I've written down. I'm committed to um, as a practical step. What I do on the side of that planner is after I've written down six or seven big goals, I, I, I list out one through ten and I write down the names of ten people who can help me achieve those six or seven goals. Mm. And I make every effort to contact those ten people that day and move me one step closer to achieving those goals. That's fantastic, man. Yeah, it's very effective. You know, um, you know even if it's just a, a quick hello, a follow-up call, I know that, you know, my goals are so big, I can't achieve them by myself. I'm going to, it's going to take a team of people. And yeah. so in relationship with those people to go meet new people, introduce myself to new people. Uh, that's what it's going to take to, to stay accountable to those goals. What's the, how did you come up with that? How did I come up with that? You know, I think it's just a, a culmination and an extension of what, what Grant's already expressed is that um, there's people out there that, that have what you need to achieve your goals. They, they exist out there. They already have what you need. They have the money. They have the connections. They have the ideas. Those people can't help me unless those people know me. Right. So I need to go introduce myself to them. I need to, to show them how we can have uh, a mutual relationship where it's give and take. We both benefit from it. And, um, you know, it's going to take those people. I got to I got to find those people. I got to know their name. I got to know that they exist and I got to get in front of them. Obscurity. Yeah. Every business, it's your biggest problem. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. It's one of those things where, like, it, you, it doesn't matter what group of people or environment you drop me in you can or you you can use that as a conversation your problem will always your biggest problem in business sales or anything right is going to be obscurity so even in building that church in honduras for the school that your biggest problem is going to be obscurity absolutely yeah that was the problem with my business all along you know even being a successful business, you know, keeping my doors open for five years, obscurity was still the, my biggest problem. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, in the email you sent me, I got this, you know, this really cool, colorful graphic that, you know, I, I didn't even, I saw it and I really wanted to like dig into it and dive into it. And I thought, well, that, that would sort of take away from this whole live conversation thing. So I just sort of 
averted my eyes, but I rep I recognized a word in Japanese. Um, so like, so tell me, tell us all about that. And I don't know if we can do a screen share or not, or, but, but I just right here, I can share it everybody. Uh, so we know what we're talking about. So, um, you would ask me, you know, why do I do what I do, right? So that's right. the important part is the why. Um, I, recently, why I recently discovered this Japanese concept called ikigai, which means you're a reason for being. And I'm, I'm going to hold it up here, and uh, we'll be able to post this as well. But what it looks like is a, a Venn diagram of four different circles here. Right. And, you know, they're overlapping a little bit in each direction. So there's four different circles, and this is what they represent. The first one is what I love to do. The next one is what the world needs. Third one is what I get paid for. And the fourth one is what I'm good at. Right? So these are all important, right? You, you want to be operating in each of these circles. But what this, this uh, illustration does is right in the middle is a sweet spot called the Ikigai. And what that is, is that's where you want to be operating, right? You're doing what you love. It's something that the world needs. They're willing to pay you for it. And you're really, really good at it, right? So if you can operate right in that sweet spot, you yeah. know, it's a win for everybody. And, um, you know, that's where you're going to find your purpose. That's brilliant. Absolutely yeah. brilliant. All of it. You know, um, even, even just in, in that in and of itself, I've got it, but it's in black and white. But, like, even that in and of itself helps people with accountability because accountability is not just about, you know, get it done. It's about, you know, why am I doing what I'm doing and how close to this am I? And any, and I would assume that, and you're probably doing this already, but you know, what I can do with this moving forward is anytime I feel like I'm out, right. I can come back in here and be like, all right, what's the mission? You know, just reconnect, right? Like anytime, you know, Grant talks a lot about when you have a setback or you have a failure or you have a challenge or you get to this place where like, like, okay, I've made, I'm done making phone calls today. I don't want to call any more people. If I talk to one more person, you know, or whatever it may be, like you, you always just go back to your goals and your dreams just to like reaffirm purpose. So like right. this in itself is like this really nice little checklist on okay, where am I at? What am I doing? You know, how do I, how do I get to this next level? Like, how do I level up? Am I out of, how do you say it? Ikagi? No, Ikagai? Ikigai? Ikigai. 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 We should practice that. Ikigai. <laughs> Ikigai. Right? So if we say Ikigai to each other, then, you know, that's a reminder. Hey, are you, are you living in the sweet spot there? Are you, right. are you a little distracted? Are you off base? Right, right. Are you in the sweet spot? Is, you know, that's your reason for being the key guy. I love that, man. Thank you so oh, much for sharing. You well as well. Yeah, I, I hope the kids at home are getting something out of that as well. And um, so, hey, if people want to like talk to you about maybe hiring you or, or getting your services, uh, what? How, how do we do that? Sure. You're, uh, you can find me on Facebook, uh, Nikos Computer Engineering. That's spelled N-I-K-O-S. Or you can visit our website at nikosce.com. Either way, uh, either fill out our form, shoot me an email, send me a, a phone call or a text. Uh, we do offer a free consultation. So I'll be glad to talk to you, um, see how we can help you. Uh, really what we're trying to do is, is save you time, reduce your costs, increase your revenue, and uh, let you seize opportunities. So uh, using you know, software, computer technology, we want to do all those things for your business so that you can focus on what you're best at. Love it. Love it. Now, what's Nikos? Does it stand for something? Is that somebody's name? Is it uh, like, what's the, where's, where's that from? Hey, yeah, I really appreciate you asking me that. So Nikos is a Greek word similar to Nike, you know, the right. Nike. And what it means is victory of the people. So when I started my business, you know, I didn't want to, um, you know, I'm not working for other CEOs. I'm not working for the business owners. I'm working for the, the man and the masses, right? So given the, given the user's awesome user experience, software that's reliable and responsive and, uh, and saves them time, helps them be productive. I love that. That's fantastic. So we can hit you up on Facebook. We can, uh, what's your phone number? 
904-400-0846. Perfect. So guys, hit them up on Facebook. Call them if you need to. I'm a phone call kind of a guy myself. So uh, give them a buzz. And then um, if you like this, if this has helped, if you've gotten some wisdom out of this, please share it with somebody else that might be able to benefit as well. If there's anything I can do for you as far as how to get more out of Cardone University, about how to use Grant Cardone's products, how to leverage them effectively, feel free to reach out to me. Um, you can catch me on Facebook, or if you like me, more of a phone call kind of a guy, my number is 310 777 uh, Tim Clark, thank you, brother. Appreciate you spending some time yeah. with us today. Appreciate it. Um, keep going with those goals and dreams, man. Let us know when you start knocking some of these things out of the park. Absolutely. I'll see you on the, uh, the 10X group page. That's right. Awesome. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate you guys watching. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you, man.